Hello, I'm Zeke Bryant, and today I'll be reading Young Jackie Robinson's The Pillar of Responsibility. Jackie Robinson was the first black man to play Major League Baseball. He opened the door for many other black players. Jackie was born in Georgia in 1919. His parents were very poor. They already had four children to feed. Jackie was just a baby when his mother took her children to California. There wasn't much money to go around, but there was a lot of love. As Jackie grew up, he discovered there was a lot of conflict between blacks and whites. There was even a law that said blacks could not swim in the town pool with white children. No color allowed. Jackie was angry at being treated unfairly, but he knew that fighting with the fist would only make things worse. Instead, Jackie fought back by being the best athlete he could. In high school, Jackie was a star athlete. No one played hard as he did. When Jackie went to college, he was one of the best athletes in the country. Baseball, basketball, football, track. Jackie starred in them all. In 1941, America entered the World War II. Jackie joined the Army but he hurt his ankle and couldn't fight. Instead, he trained troops. After the war ended, Jackie joined Kansas City Monarchs. They were Negro American Baseball League team. The Monarchs played great baseball. But Negro League players were not paid well. They traveled in color-only sections of buses and trains. They had to stay in the rundown hotels and could eat only certain restaurants. In 1945, Jackie met a man named Branch Rickey. Rickey was the president of the Major League Baseball team called the Brooklyn Dodgers. Ricky wanted to open up the major leagues to black players, but he knew his first black player would have to be strong enough not to fight with every person he insulted. Jackie Robinson was the man Ricky was looking for. He asked Jackie to join the Montreal Royals. They were a minor league team owned by the Dodgers. Jackie said yes. Jackie played hard for the Royals. He helped them in the championship, but not all people liked him. In 1947, Jackie joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. He was in the major leagues, but things did not get any easier for Jackie. Two Dodgers asked to be traded to a different team. They did not want to play with the black man. Other players tried to hurt Jackie during the games, and the fans often shouted terrible things at him. Jackie fought back the way he always had. He played the best baseball he could. In the first year, Jackie stole more bases than any other player. The Dodgers won the National League Championship, and Jackie was named the Rookie of the Year. In 1949, Jackie was both the most valuable player. It was a great honor. Jackie played with the Dodgers for 10 years. He helped them win six national titles and one World Series. Thank you, kids. Let me read to you. I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well.